Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Quarantine Conversations brought to you by the SCSU Huskies Athletics app. I'm your host, Alex Cotter, and with me today is Dave Shayak, brand new head, brand new assistant coach for the hockey team. Coach, how, how have you been doing? What have you been up to during quarantine? Uh, doing great, actually. Doing real good. Uh, got moved in about three months ago. Uh, found a place in uh, South St. Cloud. Uh, got my family situated into the school. So my boys are going to, uh, tech high school and then my daughter is going to South junior high. So they're making the transition, um, a little bit different year, obviously with distance learning. Um, they started out with hybrid, but now it's not. And then, uh, hockey wise here, uh, we were going about five weeks strong. And then, uh, we had a couple positive COVID cases. So we had to shut down and quarantine had to deal with that, but uh, we got back on the ice there last week, and I think we've handled it well. We've we've got a lot of teaching in uh, in terms of different aspects of our game. I think at this point right now, Alex, uh, just like everybody else in the country, we're ready to play some games here. So we're anxious to get started uh, entering into the bubble in Omaha in here about a month. Yeah, well, I mean, you talked about you know getting the family settled in. It's been a really busy off season for you. I know it's been crazy for everyone else, but uh, what drew, drew you to SESU? Well, a lot of, a lot of things. Um, obviously, great people here. They really care about the program, uh, both internally, uh, school-wise, athletic department-wise, and obviously the community really loves the game. So it starts with great people and then uh, really great resources, obviously great locker room, weight room, got the underwater treadmill for rehab. We got the shooting stations. So a lot of the kids you're recruiting these days like those types of resources and facilities. So we have that. And obviously to go along with that, great winning culture here at St. Cloud. Uh, it's always to be a good part of that. And then uh, lastly, a little bit closer to home for me, Alex. I'm from Manitoba, Brandon, Manitoba. So I'm about five and a half hours away. So I could see my folks and some family members. I could drive up and see them uh, more than once a year. So you factor that in with playing in a great league. It, it checked off a lot of the boxes and uh, real anxious to get going and happy to be part of it. For sure, for sure. And you, you know, you've, you've gotten you've gotten on a roll a little bit here with fall practices and stuff like that. Um, just released the uh, captains uh, last week. What are your thoughts on the captains? I know you haven't got to know them all too well. You know, we've been, only been here for a few months, but what, what do you think about the new captains? No, I get 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 to know them quite well. Normally, we're we're busy recruiting in the whole month of September, but obviously, with the, with the shutdown and quarantines, uh, we're not able to do so because there's a recruiting ban until January one. So we we pretty much got to see the guys on an everyday basis, and again, I, I can't speak enough. We got a great culture, a lot of good kids here. The leaders are, are, are well-rounded, they're humble, they love being a Husky, uh, they want to do everything they can to help us be competitive and win a championship here. And, you know, uh, Spence is a good person, obviously, you consider him a local guy from Sartell, uh, always wanted to be a Husky, does things the right way, leads the right way on and off the ice, that's all you can ask for as a captain. And uh, Jay Cox, obviously, uh, up from War Road there, uh, blue collar guy brings it every day is a gamer leads by example another guy that that's that's got a true personality um, and then we also got a guy that's a transfer doesn't happen very often Seamus uh, Donahue uh, came over from Michigan Tech played there three years wore a letter there uh, was only a two months to maybe get to know the guys and earned a lot of respect within the locker room Works very hard on the ice, very good student off the ice, working on his masters. Another great person to lead our crew. And then uh, Fitzgerald, great personality. Guys love him. Works extremely hard on the ice and off the ice. Just loves the guys. He's one of those guys you just love to have on your team. So we've got a tremendous leadership group that are doing things the right way. And uh, that's all you can ask for. Who's been standing out to you here in practice? Um, you know, some underclassmen, some upperclassmen. Who's been uh, really catching your eye? Well, we got 28 guys on the roster, so it's hard to hard to pick out guys individually. Um, I, I, I think right now, for me as an outsider looking in, it's hard to evaluate or use this as a platform to pull guys out individually. But I think as a group, 
Uh, we talked about effort, habits, and buy-in. Our practices have been high pace. They've been competitive. Guys are playing fast. That's what I've been impressed with the most. I was just talking to a couple of our guys. We're having some one-on-one -on -one meetings. Let's just say we've had 19 practices uh, as a staff. I think we've loved 18 out of the 19. I mean, that's just a credit to our group of guys that are working hard to, together for a common goal, which is to bring a, a championship here. You know, and last season, the Huskies got off to a little bit of slow start. In the second half of the season, they kind of caught fire. And some of the guys who caught fire were those freshmen, and now they're going to be uh, sophomores this year. How are you going to help guys like uh, Yami Kronola and Zach Okabe take the next step? Yeah, good good question. I think part of the up and downs of the early part of last season, as you mentioned, Alex, is uh, I can't remember how many freshmen and sophomores. I think there were 16 freshmen and sophomores. When you have a – a young group like that, it, it takes a lot of time, especially in this league. There's no mercy in this league. But a credit to, to Coach Larson, Coach Oliver, Coach Gibbons did an incredible job with their development in the second half. They're a, a better team. And I think it's carried through. I've seen uh, in the fall here, those guys are practicing like veterans. They look like veterans on the ice. And obviously key components for, for our success this year. So they've all looked really good after having a pretty good freshman year. And you'll be heading to the bubble here in, uh, well, less than a month now. Um, any updates from the NCHC on uh, kind of what's happening, some different protocols? I know a schedule should be released here soon. Well, what, what have you heard? Um, I, th I think that does change week to week, but we do have a plan in place. We got to get into the bubble uh, one week prior to that December 1st date. That's our first game. Uh, COVID free. So we'll go through some testing prior to entering the bubble. And once we get into the bubble, I think we're doing testing two to three times a week. Uh, and then, then it's to play the games. Obviously we got 10 games in 20 days. So it's like playing junior hockey or pro hockey, which will be a challenge, but uh, I think we're doing the best we can to prepare our guys for that with the type of practices that we've set up. What's the message to the guys, uh, you know, going in the bubble, uh, how are they, how are you mentally preparing them? Uh, that's a, that's a big part of it. Uh, you want to go in fresh, you want to have legs and energy and you're going to have to have some mental fortitude because that's a lot of games. It's not the norm for college hockey. Uh, guys are going to be coming out as fast, as hard as anybody. Uh, and we're going to have to be prepared how to maintain our energy and our execution throughout those 20 days. So we've been harping on actually getting proper rest, eating right and training the right way and making sure your sleeping habits are good. So when we go in there, we're fresh in all those categories. All right, well, Coach, that'll do it for me today. I can't wait to see you here at the Herb uh, come the second half of the season. Uh, thanks for sitting down with me, and that'll do it for this edition of Quarantine Conversations, brought to you by the SCSU Huskies Athletics app. Thanks so much, Coach, and we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Sounds great, Alex. You guys have a great day. Thanks.